So the sound we're focusing on today is the sound P. So you make this sound by putting your lips together and then blowing them open with some air. P. P. So let's take a look at some words that start with this sound P. Here's a pineapple. Pineapple. And this is our pool. Pool. A passion fruit. A passion fruit. Polar bear. So here's a tongue twister to help you practice that sound. P. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? So P is quite a simple sound and it's made just using our mouths. But it's often confused with the sound B, which is made in the same way, close your lips and blow air out, but B is a voiced sound. We use our voice box. For P, it's only in our mouth. B uses our voice box. Let's take a look at an example. Look at the bear! Pear? Bear? So these words like pear and bear are what we call minimal pairs, only one sound difference. We'll look more at these in another video. As you know, sounds and spelling are not the same thing in English. It's the same again with that sound P. So let's take a little look at sound versus spelling. So mostly when you see the letter P, the sound we hear is P, like at the beginning of most words, like pineapple or pyramid or polar bear. But sometimes a P at the beginning of a word is silent, like in some medical words, like psychiatrist or psychologist. Or there can be a silent P in the middle of a word, like receipt. Sometimes the letter P is followed by an H, and this changes the sound to a F, like in photo. And here's another tongue twister to practice the sound P. A proper cup of coffee pot. A proper cup of coffee pot. Thanks for watching. I hope you understand a little bit more about the sound P now, how we make it and how we use it in English. For more phonetic sounds or more pronunciation practice in general, head over to Jill's English Pronunciation Gym here on my YouTube channel or at the Study HQ Cairns website. Just like going to a regular gym, going to the pronunciation gym will work those English muscles and help to make them stronger, improve your pronunciation and so improve your listening. So go to the gym a little bit every day. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.